Deep linking is supported by Flutter on web browsers, iOS, and Android. Your app shows that screen when you open a URL. You can use named routes, either with the routes parameter or ongenerate route, or the router widget to launch and display routes with the instructions below. No extra setup is necessary if you are using the app in a web browser. The same procedures apply to route pathways as they do to an iOS or Android deep link. Web apps can modify this behavior by setting the URL strategy for your application. By default, web apps read the deep link path from the URL fragment using the pattern hush path to app screen. Set up app links for Android. A method for launching an app with a URI is called deep linking. This URI launches the application to a certain screen and includes the scheme, host, and path. An app link is a specific kind of deep link available only on Android smartphones, which use HTTP or HTTPS. Having a web domain is necessary in order to set up app linkages. If so, you might want to look into GitHub pages or Firebase hosting as a stopgap option. Modify Android Manifest.xml Open the Flutter project with Versus Code or Android Studio. Navigate to Android App SRC main Android Manifest.xml file. Add the following metadata tag and intent filter inside the activity tag with dot main activity. Replace example.com with your own web domain. XML hosting a settlings.jso file. Use one of your own domain's web servers to host an settlings.jso file. This file instructs the mobile browser rather than the browser, which Android application to launch. Obtain the package name of the Flutter application you made in the preceding step and the signing keys SHA-256 fingerprint in order to construct the file. This will be needed to build the APK. Package name. Locate the package name in Android Manifest.xml, the package property under Manifest tag. Package names are usually in the format of com.example star SHA-256 fingerprint. The process might differ depending on how the APCA is signed. Using Google Play app signing. You can find the SHA-256 fingerprint directly from Play Developer Console. Open your app in the Play Console under Release Setup App Integrity App Signing tab. Screenshot of SHA-256 fingerprint in Play Developer Console. Using Local Key Store. If you are storing the key locally, you can generate SHA-256 using the following command. Key tool list v key store path to key store. A settlings.jso, the hosted file should look similar to this. Now write simple code to check app open from deep link or not. We are testing deep linking so that when you place a condition on the original URL, you can browse to a certain screen.
If you enjoy these videos and would like to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Flutter is a simple and quick way to learn.